Welcome to the Bantha tail end of space, otherwise known as Tatooine. Hope you enjoy heat, Captain. It's the closest you'll get to landing on a sun, unless you're really unlucky. If there's credits in it, I'll go just about anywhere. An attitude like that will take you far in this galaxy. We're here because of a crime lord named Diago Hickson, the closest thing Noctrain ever had to a rival. Diago was always trying to one-up Noc. They fought for territory, bragging rights, and the occasional woman. The battles were legendary. Now what's all that to me? Diago celebrated Noc's death by raiding one of his storehouses. Stole an advanced Gree sensor computer. Priceless technology. To find Noctrain's fortune, we need to pry that sensor computer out of Diago's sticky fingers. That could be trouble. I haven't even gotten to the trouble yet. No one's seen Diago in years. He only communicates through his lieutenants. One of those lieutenants, a Nicto named Two Creek, promised to help. You need to meet him. He must want something in exchange for helping us. Two Creek wants fame. I promised I'd tell everyone he helped find Noctrain's riches. If you run into Diago, watch your back. He makes Skavik look like a Jedi Padawan. But the Blazes is a Padawan. Jedi in training, goody-goody students, always on their best behavior. Never mind. Two Creek owns a club in the desert outside Anchorhead. He's expecting you. Good luck, Captain. Welcome, Captain. The lovely Risha has excellent taste in business partners. A face like yours attracts a lot of attention in a place like this. You'll never have to buy yourself a drink. Mm. If you smell anything else, let me know. I'm sorry to say this, but you've come at a bad time to do business. Things are... tense. This is about to get real ugly for you. Things are already quite ugly for everyone in Diago's organization. Hey, pretty face! You don't belong here. I'm not looking for any trouble. Then you definitely don't belong here. Excuse me, but I suddenly feel an urge to put away all the breakable things. I'm only a weary traveler. There's plenty of room here for both of us, my friend. You're not my friend, got it? I'm sure she'd buy you a drink if you gave her the chance. I'm not thirsty. You want to leave me alone. You want to stop noticing me. You're really starting to annoy me. Men! Let's show pretty face what we do with people who annoy me. If you want to pick a fight, why not pick me? <laughs> You got a big mouth. I'm gonna enjoy shutting it. Men, kill them both. I wish this hadn't ended in violence, but it was brave of you to intervene. Not the sort of place I expect to meet a Jedi. It's only the second time I've visited an establishment like this. The other time also ended badly. My name is Nariel Prydance. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for Vavaron Zare, an agent of evil and servant of the Sith Empire. Have you heard of her? Is there a reason I should tell you anything? Zare is a being of vast darkness and a grave threat to the galaxy. I hear she's taken an interest in the local underworld, so I came to observe these criminals and gain information. Looks like this resource is a dead end. Yes, it's best I move on. I sense you're destined for greater things than consorting with common criminals. I must continue my search for Vavaron Zair. May the Force be with you.
I thought she'd never leave. Look at this mess. Our gang has enough problems without Jedi chasing Sith through our territory. You see this expression on my face? It's called apathy. I'm not interested. You should be. It affects your business too. Our organization is under attack by a gang of Geonosians. Last week they took over our spice warehouse. Killed everyone, including a fellow lieutenant who had the only way of contacting Diago. What's a Geonosian? Overgrown insects with heavy weapons and bad attitudes. They're sitting on what we need. Diago hates it when we bother him. He got so angry, he killed a crate dragon. Gave us lieutenants one fang to share. Only the lieutenant with the crate dragon fang can speak to Diago. And you helped kill the men I was sending to get it. You've got a brilliant plan, right? The way I see it, this is at least partly your fault. If you want your sensor computer, get me that great dragon fang. One reptile tooth coming right up. My deceased associate kept the fang at the spice warehouse. Place is crawling with Geonosians. Won't be easy. Discouraging those Geonosians from sticking around will give us leverage with the boss. Just a suggestion. I'm heading for Diago's summer palace at these coordinates. Meet me there with the great dragon fang. Well, I'm pleased Diago finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. <coughs> Is that absurd little trophy the reason Diago sent you? I'm here in my own business, lady. You ran past the spice storehouses to fetch a bone. Interesting business. My name is Vavarone Zare. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. Trying to get a meeting with Diago myself. Uh, yes. It's easier to get an appointment with the Dark Council. I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. Get to the point. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? Are you looking to hire me? If you serve me, you serve yourself. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. You'll be the only member of your species who experiences me as something besides a master. I offer the chance of a lifetime. All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. We can work something out. How do I contact you? I scanned your hollow frequency. I'll contact you. Don't take too long arranging things, or I'll have to employ more aggressive means of getting Diago's attention. Relax. Everything's gonna be alright. 